Hello there folks, I'm Dan Brown from Sort of Interesting and well, I've been asked to do one of these talking at the camera videos so let's roll the Dan Brown monologues title slide for just a second and we're back. So, um, I've been asked to do a few of these videos. I started the Dan Brown monologues idea this time last year but I never really did many of them because I prefer my videos to be actually about something like showing you something to do with boating or a nice trip down the canal or I don't know a bike ride rather than just me standing here saying what I think about things basically but I've been asked to do a few of them and something that I've been asked a lot about recently is my YouTube channel and just things about YouTube in general as I've got a slight bit of popularity and so I thought well let's go for it and today's topic is YouTube so I'm going to say now, like I say a slight bit of popularity, that is not in any way to say I am at all popular or anything, that's just relative to how many views my channel used to get. I mean I've literally gone from taking three years to get to 100,000 views to then passing 500,000 views in 14 months to at this point now, amazingly, and I once again can't thank you enough for this, but I'm getting 52,000 views a month and doing what it took three years to do originally and getting over 100,000 views every two months. So I mean that is, I know it's no sort of millions of views and hundreds of millions of views that a lot of channels will be getting but to me personally it means an awful lot that that many people are tuning in and well looking at what I'm doing and well to be honest I'll mention it in a moment it's quite an interesting sort of effect it's having. Um, but like I say, I mean, to say popular, that's that's a, an awful sort of word to use because, first of all, it's not true in my case in the relative terms of things. I mean, 52,000 views in a month is a, it's effectively zero to what some people get. But to me personally, like I say, as I mean, I'm more than happy with that. And the video title for this is probably something like trying to make it on YouTube or something like that. And that's probably misleading because myself like many other people have never tried to make it on YouTube and well I certainly haven't made it on YouTube as I've just said I've gone from literally getting like a handful of views I mean sometimes not even a thousand in a month for a very very long time for years to suddenly like I say I mean there's now about uh, 1,600 um, odds uh, views a day and I mean that's just fascinating it's like Every at any given moment, there's three people somewhere in the world watching one of my videos. Now that imagine how much use that time could be put to. But well, what can you say? <laughs> and well, really, I suppose what I want to talk about in this video is the interesting sort of thing that this has on just day to day life. I mean, I personally have all I've ever done. I mean, I started a website that's not a, not around at the minute, but I might fetch back called Sort of Interesting. And just generally wrote about and talked about things that I like doing. I mean, astronomy, biking, walking, just all sorts of general day-to-day -day things that I, uh, well, did and enjoyed. And then I started doing these videos to go with the website. And then as I sort of, I don't know, time went on, it got a little bit bigger, but never really had any sort of real impact. Maybe a thousand views a month, like I could say. And uh, then... My life changed utterly when I decided uh, to finally buy myself a little boat to live on, which as you can see here, if you're not familiar with my usual videos, that's why this looks like such a weird room, because we are currently stood on a boat talking. Um, so at that point, I sort of stopped the website, but carried on with the videos, and obviously then, living on a boat had an awful lot of scope to do videos on, because first of all, it's not the sort of thing that you come across every day, like the general daily life of a boater and obviously me coming into it completely green I mean I have learnt so much in the last 18 months that I've been on board and basically all I've done is film a lot of that and share it with uh, well whoever wants to watch whoever you are <laughs> and that really is the sort of turning point where it's become a thing of there's all these thousands of people suddenly turned up and started watching these videos and I certainly wasn't prepared for anybody to be going oh you know what I'm going to do tonight I'm going to watch some videos about life on a boat and amazingly this is what I really want to talk about is 
the sort of the community aspect of it and the fact that I've gone from just being little Dan Brown on his boat who does videos to suddenly having messages every day from all corners of the world. I mean, there's places that you would never expect people to be watching little old Dan Brown floating down the canal on a boat that I am from. And the fact that I get messages and people are like tell me about the uh, sort of similar ideas and similar sort of boats that you can live on in their countries and it's just it's absolutely fascinating. And it's fascinating to get hundreds of messages in a month. But it's even more fascinating when they're being pulled from all over the world. I mean there's people from literally my hometown who have seen me and got in contact and then there's people from all over Asia, Australia, obviously all over America, South America and Europe. And, well, I mean, it is just absolutely incredible to think. I mean, I don't know what on earth is driving everybody to watch these videos, but thank you very much for it. And I don't know, really. It's sort of, it's opened up my eyes to just how many people there are out in the world doing all sorts of incredible things. And, I mean... I, I like to say, I mean, people often say, that I know in real life, like, oh yeah, you've done well for yourself, you've got your boat and all the rest of it. And I always say, like, I've done nothing that other people couldn't do. It's just the fact that I have actually done it, rather than just sit around saying I'll do it, or, oh yeah, one day I'd like to do that. And, um, well, the fact that there's all these other people who are doing similar things, and maybe, I, I don't know, travelling around in a van, for example... It's it's just amazed me to see this incredible sort of community swell up and get in contact with me. And the fact that it's not a community in like sort of geography, but it's like-minded people literally from all over the globe. Now, one of the things that I think is truly fascinating and a little bit scary is the amount of people who recognise me as I'm going about my daily life. And if you consider that I'm getting 52,000 views a month, which is absolutely nothing in the grand scheme of things I mean there's people who are literally getting tens of millions of views in a month and yet there's still from 52,000 people enough to uh, have at least once a week and often twice maybe three times in a week somebody like either go past on a boat or walk down the towpath or even when I'm just going about my daily life like shopping in town who will say oh Dan I've seen your videos on YouTube and all that sort of stuff. And I mean, that's fascinating to have people recognise you. And I mean, it certainly, I can't, I can't help but smile. And it certainly makes my day when people do it. And when I hear people say that, I mean, recently in my uh, workplace, I work in a supermarket. And somebody that I work with, uh, brilliantly, uh, some lads had walked around the corner. And one of them was saying, oh, there's that damn brown from YouTube. To which another one says, what, where? And then they have to walk back around to go past me, which it's just that sort of thing that I think is fantastic. And thank you very much to whoever you were. were. And um, really, it's just that sort of thing, like to generally go about your daily life and have people recognise you from a pool of, like you say, I mean, you're only talking like, well, 52,000 views a month. And yet, if you scale that up to, I don't know, even just a million views a month, which is still low for some people. I mean, goodness me, I can't imagine that like, you'd never be able to do anything. <laughs> I do particularly like it when uh, people go past on boats and shout out, Hey Dan, oh, seen Tilly in real life now, and just general things like that. I do, I, like I say, it makes my day, and it's certainly, certainly something that I find amusing. <laughs> but once again, it's just to have this bizarre sort of, I don't know, meeting people and seeing people and shaking their hand and that sort of stuff. And it's like, I'm still only little Dan Brown who doesn't really do much apart from live on a boat, write books and then go and work in a supermarket very rarely. Um, so thank you all once again for that. Um, like I say, it makes me wonder, like, if I woke up tomorrow and had 300 million views... What on earth would that do and how would that change things? Because I feel as if now I've seen how how many people can recognise you from a small selection of people. If you scaled that up, I mean, well, like I say, I, I just can't imagine that everybody would know you, it seems. Which I always thought that if you were sort of somebody on YouTube who could get a billion views, that you'd still be able to walk down the street and nobody would know you. Because that billion views is coming from all over the world. But... Well, it seems obviously not. Um, 
So really, I suppose this video is more rambling than I even imagined, and I was expecting it to be pretty senseless rambling video. Um, I suppose I'll wrap it up really. Are there any final thoughts I want to say? Um, well, really, apart from the fact that, like I say, I'm not super popular or anything like that, and I would never claim to be. And similarly, I've never tried to make it, it big on YouTube, and I've never done a video and thought, yes, I'm going to do this and get a million views. I literally just talk to a camera or point a camera outside while I'm boating along the canal and the fact that people have suddenly turned up to watch these videos like I say means a lot to me personally is absolutely mind-boggling and fascinating and then even more so when I see you in real life and you know me or, and say things about me that I might have forgotten for years from old videos I mean well what can you say to that um Thank you very much for watching. Uh, please make sure you like and subscribe and uh, like the Facebook page. Follow me on Twitter. Add my personal account on Facebook if you want. Also, please, please, please take a look, if you will, at my book, The Narrowboat Lad, on the Kindle. Uh, it's only £1.53 to buy. And it's got to be said that I've passed a 1,000 downloads, which, I mean, that really does mean a lot to me, to think that a 1,000 people have now read that book or well, hopefully at least read some of it. I mean, well, what can I say? I mean, that really is a humbling thing. And I'm literally, well, right now I've got my notes down there where I've been writing the follow-up to it. So thank you all so much for that. But really, well, 52,000 views in a month. Let's see if we can hit that 100,000 or if it all fades out and nobody ever cares or watches this video again. Um, thank you very much for watching. Spread the word, spread the joy and, well, There'll be more Dan and Tilly to come. As always, have a fantastic day and well, maybe I will see you through that window sometime soon. Farewell.